In this tutorial, we shall be setting our DJ drops and sound effects to follow the speed of the songs or tracks we play on Virtual DJ. Imagine when you're playing a slow song and then you put on or you play your DJ drop and then it goes very fast, which will be very distracting when you're mixing. So in this tutorial, we shall be setting our DJ drops or sound effects to follow the speed of every track that we play on Virtual DJ here. So without wasting much time, here is what you have to do. If you have your sound effects here, for example, like this one. Yeah. And then a DJ drop like this one here. DJ Steve the finest. So when I put a song with a low tempo or a low BPM, it has to follow the speed of the song or the track that is playing. For example, let me load a song with a low BPM like this one. Let me play and you will see what will happen. DJ Steve the finest. DJ Steve the finest. You see, it will follow the speed of the track. So let me load another song with a high BPM here and you will notice what will happen. DJ Steve the finest. DJ Steve, DJ, DJ Steve, the finest. You see that? It will follow the speed of the track. So to set your sound effects or the DJ drops to follow the song or track you're playing on Virtual DJ, head over to sampler section here. Let me increase this so that you'll be able to see it properly. So what you have to do is this. Uh, these are the sound effects and DJ drops that I'm having here. So for me to set it, I will head over to this small side view trigger pad here. I'll click on it so that the uh, sound effects and the DJ drops will be aligned vertically so that I'll be able to select it. So here is my DJ drop. DJ Steve the finest. Okay, if I want to set it, I'll right click on it and then I'll click on sample editor. So here what you have to do is this. First of all, most of the DJ drops and sound effects are set to drop mode and then the flat mode here. So what I do on my DJ drops and sound effects is that I'll set them to sync start, which means whenever I press or I play the sound effect or the DJ drop, it will sync with the song which is playing okay you can go ahead and increase the bpm of your dj drop or the sound effect but it doesn't matter as long as you have this sync start option here selected you'll be able to synchronize your dj drops or sound effects with your tracks that you're playing on virtual dj so after changing this setting to sync start click on save and then everything should be done so whenever you play any song of any bpm your sound effect will follow the speed of the song or the track you're playing so check this out DJ Steve the finest DJ Steve the finest Hey 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 so that is one simple thing that every virtual DJ user should be doing so that you will not be messing up with your sound effects or the DJ drops when you're playing or mixing in a club or anywhere using virtual DJ. So that is it for this tutorial. Uh, make sure you watch this tutorial here where you'll be able to use the stem effects on virtual DJ to be able to extract or to listen to only vocals, beats or instrumental of any track on virtual DJ. So go check it out and then see you right in